All right, it's time. All right, Dave. Get the two combatants to the center of the ring, please. Here we go. <laughs> this is it. Now, last week, yeah, we told you the story yeah. of a young man. Uh, Sam was his name or Steve? I don't recall. It was Steve. Uh, Steve. Uh, young Steve in, uh, because Steve Austin. Take me to Texas. Mm -hmm. I think it was Steve was in Austin, Texas, and he told the story. And this this happened months ago. Mm -hmm. He said he was in Austin, Texas, in, the, in, in one of the popular downtown areas, had a couple of drinks, but he said nothing to the point of being blackout drunk. He said, I'm going to catch a ride home in an Uber. He FaceTimed with his cousin and said, I'm grabbing an Uber. Talk to you later. He was in a club, right? Yes. A couple. He, I think he'd been to maybe one or two different businesses. Yeah, you know, they're downtown area. Downtown. It's Obje Austin. It's Austin. Objection. He's still signed, trying to sell his side. He is. <laughs> this is no, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to, for so those that haven't heard the story. Just, we he was in a table. club. We've done he closing wants, arguments. We need to yeah. set this the is table. the verdict. Uh, the verdict is in. I just want to set the scene for our P1s that may not have heard it. I'll have you removed. He made a. <laughs> <laughs> order. Uh, order. 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 No, your counsel. You can't tell me. I want it removed. You're not the judge. It's the way you said club. It sounded Dirty. It did sound dirty. <laughs> well, thank you. you. We don't know, do we? Oh, we don't know. He's was he waving his dance hands club? in the air as if he didn't care? <laughs> All right. He might have been. Can you play some Post Malone? <laughs> <laughs> Man, I already done play Post Malone. So, in Austin? So, uh -huh. he FaceTimes his cousin and says, I'm grabbing an Uber. Talk to you later. Mm -hmm. The next thing our buddy Steve knows, he's in his own bed waking up. Law, and his phone is gone, his wallet is gone, and he's down thirteen thousand. Someone has spent thirteen thousand dollars. He says of his money mm -hmm. uh, at various places, including Walmart's and Katy, uh, Katy, Texas, which is a, at least a two-hour drive away. He says the bank won't help me out. They they said, well, you used your ATM pin mm -hmm. code, you know that kind of thing. He wanted video information. Mm -hmm. I said, what about the police? police? Dave said, police don't care. I don't care about this guy. He's a drunk. They got he's time a, for he's it. A they drunk. don't care about drunks out thirteen uh, no. grand. I said, I trust him because that's because he's white. You trust I, me. Not they don't that. care. <laughs> I objected to that. That's an objection uh -uh. right there. Was he driving drunk? No. Then no, I don't care. No, he wasn't hello, driving hello, drunk. Police, there's been a crime. So. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy, look at my logbook. These are crimes. <laughs> so now, there's so a now, okay. Police in Austin believe they have correct. And I want to thank Kaylee B for sending in this story. Mm -hmm. uh, P one who heard us talking about the discussion last week, then re-airing it this week. Police in Austin, Texas, have arrested a mother and daughter combo: Sharon Jacobs and her daughter Tamaya Jacobs. Apparently, the two made fifty-five thousand dollars on that weekend in question in Austin, Texas. By pretending to be rideshare drivers, mm -hmm. they were never. But they would pick up people who looked intoxicated on the street corners and say, "Hey, you, you wouldn't look looking for an Uber." Mm -hmm. The people climb into the back, then they slipped them Mickey's. Uh -huh. They gave them over-the-counter sleep medication, took their phones and credit cards. They stole fifty-five thousand dollars worth of gear. Well, well, mother and daughter, fake Ubers. Well, well, it was a fake Uber all along. It turned out the man was telling the truth. He was right. Steve in Austin was mm -hmm. right. He was telling the truth. Haul this sorry sack of crap out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Get him out of my. Put court, him bro. under the jail. Get him out of my sight. How did he wake up in his bed not knowing where he well, was? Yeah, I have How'd no they do idea. That? I have no idea if they put him in the, in the bed or what. I bet they dropped him in front of his house and he found. I don't his even way know how yeah. they knew where he lived. They're not. Well, they had his wallet. They had his wallet. Yeah. They know they've got his, his license. GPS and get him there. And so they, yeah. I guess he had his keys. Yeah. They, and they could have easily taken the keys and let him inside his house. Could have. And mm -hmm. and at least to get him in. Yep. Yeah. And, and then, then he goes yeah. to bed. Mm -hmm. I, that's probably, if I was him, that's what I would have done. Get him inside at least. Not yeah. just dump him on the porch. Yeah. But imagine that. I mean, it's it's it sounds like a nightmare. And it's probably one of those things where Uber will always say, check your driver's name, check the make of the car, check mm -hmm. the yeah, license plate. Yeah, that's true. But if you've had a couple cocktails, Dave. And they slipped you him, don't they slipped him the he, drugs. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, they drug yeah, him he, in the car. He drank something he shouldn't have drank. Well, they almost all Ubers now have waters in them. And they could have said, yeah, here, here you go. You want don't a water? Don't drink them. Boy, you just blamed the victim all the way to the end. <laughs> all the way to the end. That's right. Oh, he drank a water. It's on him. <laughs> it's on this guy. Well, it's because Dave's so pickled inside. It wouldn't do anything. <laughs> <good anyway. laughs> Damn, he drank that water. He's not even sleeping. <laughs> We've been driving around for an hour. He's getting more lucid. Yeah. <laughs> What's happening here? Yeah. I think this is the first time I've heard a story like this. <laughs> Not really. He's been, he's been around it. He knows it.